Happy Halloween, fellas. <laughs> oh, enough of that. Yeah, this is up. This is my uh, I don't know morning coffee recap of last night's work. Look at this. 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 Come on, man. Yeah, I gotta go like this, man. What the hell's my glasses? Oh man. I like recapping at night, but by when I got home. My old lady, her tail looked pretty tight, so I wanna check it out. <laughs> She's working hey, that shit works, I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now, I'm an old guy, and you women out there, you go, what do I know? Hey, I know women. My my old lady just what he got three months of this shit? This is looking good. You know what I'm saying? It toned her all up. You know, it's one thing going for this crazy stuff like I do, but uh here we go. But the women, I'm telling you right now, maybe I'll do one on it. I should. Like she does totally different than me. I'm on the phone here, buddy. Trying to do a morning recap over here, okay? So you go play, go play, go play. I'll be with you later. We'll go swinging and stuff, all right? Okay. All right, so I had a good workout. I'm, don't be jumping around. I got to do stuff. Don't Spider-Man right now. Come on. Grandpa's trying to get some stuff done. Oh. I don't know if that looks better. No, this looks better, right? My morning coffee. Good workout. I've been working out, but there's no reason to come on here and show you stuff I've already done. Uh, what would you call it? I'm in reload, you know. I'm not doing a push for anything spectacular. I'm just reloading right now. That 200 overhead press took it out of me. Because I was, wasn't really ready for it, but I said, what the hell, and I got it. I should have tried a 205 when I looked at it, how fast it went up. Should have gave myself a 10 minute break. I bet you could have banged that 205 out. But, but the funny thing is, I said I just did a 205. What the hell? It's the hundreds that look good. I get more on. Well, not really. I was going to say I get more on a 300 bench than a 330. I think I do. Anyhow, I'm going to put up a lot of shorts to fill in the time, and it gives me a lot of uh, views. But that's going to end too. You know, someone's going to bitch and moan, some envious piece of shit, you know? And, uh, there's lots of old timers now on TRT, and, uh, you know, I can still compete when we're on the strength line, because I'm just, you know, genetically the way I is. But, uh, you know, on the, uh, rip six pack bullshit, I can't do that. I could do it, but I don't want to do it. I want strength. I'm fighting the bar. It's what keeps me going. It's like I'm in this, I'm getting in the ring every week and doing a few little rounds with some guy, you know, he's going light, I'm going light, but we're still banging, you know, yeah, 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 it was all my, I see all the fights at my son's, that Jake thing was good, I ain't, hey, he's getting the ring with a guy 40, I was in the, I was in bare knuckle matches at 40, what, you can't fight at 40, you can't fight at 50, I can fight right now, I don't got a, Five rounds, but that first round, you better be good. And I know how to move. I'll make that punch miss me by that much, and I'll bust your skull open or crack your ribs or something. So anyway, you know, not you. You know, you're my friend. You know what I'm saying? You don't learn lose your skills when you get old. So I know. Oh, he's fighting an older guy. Well, he's an amateur. You know, Pumba. Anyhow. Anyway, yeah, I did real good. So, uh, yeah, I did my overhead press warm-ups, and then I just did easy. It's not easy. I'm doing a little more than 70%. There's tricks you do when you're really not going for a push for a new uh, PR yet. But I'm getting my body ready. So, i just working with uh, a little more than 70%. I went with, uh, you know, 145, what they do. But I did three sets of seven, and I only left my gave myself maybe a two minute rest, so it was pretty good. That's another thing I to say: wet weights, weight, reps, sets, and time interval is important. You showing that time interval between your sets, you're doing another stress on it. 
All right. Now, when you're going for your PRs, when you're starting to push, going up there, then you got to give it. You got to get your body. You got to give your body time to recharge that battery to give you the voltage. You understand? Okay. So anyway, I did uh, overhead press forty five for seven, three in a row, boom, 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 I gave me like two, the one one was like two and a half minutes, I went right back, bang, because it's light, you can see they went up, but that was good, I got a little pump, the shoulders got, hey, I'm still around here, you know, because they, they'll take off and give up, that's the problem with a lot of you guys, why I got low T, because you ain't doing shit, you ain't doing shit, It don't matter what age you are, you ain't, I mean, I've been working with hard work all my life, you know. So, you know, not manual, I mean, I have, you know, I worked in maintenance, but one minute you pick it up a 100-pound electric motor, three-phase, what are you doing? So anyway, but, uh, yeah, if you're inactive, you're going to go down. If you exercise, they say, well, the, the male today has low T. Because he ain't doing shit. He sits one watching his fucking boob tube. And this shit here, which is the worst thing. And I'm telling you right now, I'm going to give you something. Turn this fucking bullshit off. You got the best advice you'll ever get. I'm serious. Ugh. <sighs> And one other thing, it's do you see this? That's from staying at the same distance. See, I was a musician, classical music. I said, I'm gonna go back into classical music. I got somewhere on VHS types. I gotta get them redone, you know, how to get the places, and then I'll show you me playing classical music. You go, holy shit. But you're reading, you're reading, you're reading at the same distance for hours. Like this, right here, see? That little muscle that focuses your lens ain't working. It's right there. It ain't going up and down. Knowing my family's got eye problems with my one daughter, because she lived and grew up on this bullshit. So make sure you're out in the sun and walking around where you have to focus in and out, out and in. You know, you know, you're in the woods, you ain't just looking at your feet, right? You better not be. They saw bears around here. I mean, I'm tough, but I ain't no match for a bear, you know what I'm talking about? I told my miss, when you come out of the shop, you better let me know, because uh, by the time I get down here, I mean... Oh, yeah, I'm ran a rave. It's morning coffee. Morning coffee. Hey, fellas, what are you doing? How's it going? You want a donut today? I find it. Shot of brandy would have been good. But anyhow. Yeah, so here's the three at 145. I don't know why you had. Hey. Yeah, I'll make some shorts out of it so I get my views up. But they're going to burn me on that. Don't you understand what's going on? Google's controlling everything. You make a comment somewhere over here on a political channel because of your political affiliation, they hear it. And then they come back here and shut your ass down on everything you do. You better read the book 1984 and Brave New Worlds Revisited. Read them both. I think we're going more 1984, but there's another thing. Go They're trying to work them both at the same time because what ends up in the end is control. Control. Freedom's a danger to these dirt bags. You know what I'm saying? Anyhow, anyhow, be careful what you say. Anyway, I think these uh, microphones are on in your house. God forbid. <laughs> Look at kicking in my doors. <laughs> Come get it. Anyhow, yeah. So here's the 45s. The boom, boom, boom. So okay, I'll be right back.
Now you see that, what they do. But really, that's what you have to understand. You just don't do the same bullshit every day in the gym. Even the young guys in there, they flipped out. They did 225 for 10. I just want to do a, you know, an accessory. So I was doing some uh, inclined bench. And the missus was over there working good. I want to break up her, what she was doing. So I said, hey, spot for me. I don't know, he thought I was going to do two or something. So I knocked out 10. And then the people coming over, oh, I don't know, that's something else. That ain't shit. I'll do 15, you know. I did 14 one day, remember? I don't know, you went there. So anyway, yeah. So, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. What am I talking about? Yeah, you can't do the same thing every day. That's what they do. They do the same shit. Helped the guy last night. He wasn't sure what he could do. I know he can do a few. I, I watch everybody. Because I used to be a trainer. I, you know, I watch everybody. It's, it's in my blood. And he wanted to do... I said, you want to spot you? So, he wanted to do a few with uh, 235 on the incline. And he was going to give up on four. I said, no, come on. He had it. You know, he had to grind them. He was used to the zoom, zoom, zoom. He said, come on, come on. And I said, don't worry, come on, I'll get you. I got him to do a six. You know, the six was, uh, you know, I took I took that much off. I was holding it like that. My hand was like that, but I was only, I was like, I took five pounds off. I said, you did real good there, buddy. You did real good. He was so proud of himself. The Hispanic guy, he's a nice guy. I don't know, maybe so, whatever, I helped him out. So anyway, there's that. Now I went over to the... Uh, now this is something I want to talk about. Where am I here? I did my sternum pull-downs. I forgot what I... I always forget what it's called. But there's certain positions of your body. Like that's prone, that's sitting up. Well, there's one when you're about like there. And I, I put it up on the thing because I'm so stupid. I forget it all the time. It starts with an F. But it means that position... I'm not doing him and yanking it back on each one. I get to this position and then I start pulling down, doing my pull down. I'm not doing this bullshit. I'm just, do you understand what I'm doing? All right, so I did those. But I worked them. Okay, that's that's this part. And I make sure I keep my elbows in. I'm not, you know, I'm not doing this. I want to get that lat going. But that don't, that gives me the contraction of the lat, you know. Whatever, there's a word for it when it's in like this. Like on a bicep, there's a word for this when you're contracting. There's a word when you're contracting out of here. Whatever. Full contraction, let's call it. But I want the full stretch of the lat too from here. Not here. I ain't stretching the lat all day. I want one like I'm doing a chin, pulling down. And it's got some added benefit too, I'll tell you in a second. So when I do that one too, so I call it chin pull down. And I don't need to pull all the way back, I could, I just pull it to here, because I got from here, from this one, this way. The other, the other added effect is, you're also stretching your bicep way out. Like gymnasts do, you ever see their biceps? They ain't doing curls, man. They do this shit. Alright, I can feel my bicep getting big, I don't know if you can see it. But it's getting big. I know you think it ain't, but it is. God damn it, the light's wrong. But anyhow, it's getting big. I can see it. You know, you got the wrong one. So it's there. Look. Look, it's there. It's there. It's there. Anyhow, so it's helping that too. It's good for the bicep too. So, all right, I'll go like this. Here's my, uh, whatever it's called, starts with an F, blank. Sternum pull down. I put it on a upload, you know. There's a folders or something. This kind of nuts, but it's just that position, about a 45 or more. But here's sitting, and then here's prone when you're laying flat. It's about there. Not a not an incline angle, a little less than that, you know. Almost prone, almost prone. I want to be right angle to the cable. And I stay there. You don't see me doing this bullshit. Alright, here's that one. Okay, now here's the chin pulled out. See what I'm doing? I'm telling you, you think I'm bullshitting. Try doing these. Do three, four sets at a one. 
the sternum. It looks like the same. What reason I put in the sternum? It's the same angle that uh, Vince Garanda would say to do your chin ups or pull ups. You lean back and you pull it in at that angle. You dig it? You're not doing it. That's the other thing. This one's this way. You understand? Into the sternum. That's why I call it the sternum. But it's a fold. You, you gotta understand the angle. Because some guys just bend themselves like in a pretzel. And almost straight up. No. You gotta be like that. When you do the pull. This way. Now we're doing this one. So both the lat bicep are stretched. All the muscles. And then you pull down to where the elbow's about here. You don't need to go like that. You already did that one with the other one. Okay. So here's that. The sternum. Chin pull down. Okay, you see that? You got that. Fine. But I'm serious. I know you're going to say I'm nuts, but uh, I did that, and I did. And then I do some. I did the next thing I'm going to do the, the, for the triceps, and I did it. I did the same, most of the same workout last workout, and uh, and then she said it again. She says, "Man, you are pumped." You know, his veins. And I'm telling you, this thing here worked. What I'm doing, if you just do the pull down part of this exercise, this routine, and what I do next, you'll get your arm, you're going to pump up your arms, baby. And your back, right? But obviously, I want to do my chest. But anyway. So now I do what's called the Dirty 30s. Obviously, I'm a fan of West Side Barbell. I miss Simmons so much. I want to get there. He's just one of them dudes, you know, you got a dude, you, you know, hey. And he was right up the road, but, you know, he looked at me and said, who the fuck are you? <laughs> no, he wasn't. He's a nice guy, but, you know, you know, you don't go bothering yet, you know, you dudes. You know. It's like if you're bopping around L.A., uh, Santa Barbara, you don't go bothering the actors that are walking by and asking them for autographs and that shit. I'm walking with actors I'm training, and every other goddamn guy's asking for an autograph. Say, hey, I'm here, we're hanging out in this fucking... So anyway, you know, they don't do that shit. So anyway, yeah. So the West Side, and they do, a, is it, they, I'm always looking for new accessories. They got a million accessories. Some I can't do. They got some weird equipment. And uh, Louis Simmons got a lot of pants. He's still making money. He's in heaven, wherever he is. Uh, he's on a barbell rack somewhere. But uh, yeah, this is a good uh, accessory for your triceps. They're called Dirty... 30s. Now, you're supposed to do them on easy bar curl, but I didn't want to walk over there and get it. And I like dumbbells too. And a lot of you guys just got dumbbells. You don't got an easy bar curl. It's the way the easy bar curl is, you know. It's good for certain things. Some people don't like it, but I like it. But the dumbbells will let you go wherever your hand feels that bad, you know. So it was that way, okay. So this is called the 30 30s. You do basically skull trusses for 10, right into tight pullovers for 10, right into close grip, uh, like bench, you know, with the dumbbells or the easy ball curl. Uh, when I record, I already done three sets at 30, 25. I went down to 20. I could barely do the, the, the close, you know, the close bench. I put the dumbbells together. I could barely do them. I couldn't even bounce. I was so a massive pain, this thing. It's, it'll blow your triceps apart. It's 30 reps, nonstop. You don't have to do a lot of weight, fellas. You're doing 30 reps. And when you do this part, you tie it in. You're not, you know, when you do the pull-offs, you're doing the pull -offs. When you do the, you know, the skull, this is the floor right here. You're tight. And then you, from there, tight. Man, 10 of them. And then 10 of these. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, fellas. Do it easy, ball curl, too. Hang out, brother. I got a little more here. What's up? You okay? All right, no Spider-Man until I can watch you. Guy thinks he's Spider-Man jumping around. Anyhow, uh. Try these with the easy part too. Go to the west side, you'll find it. <sighs> yeah, I missed uh, Simmons. I used to like his lectures. He's just sitting there talking. I mean, you know, he's like the professor. You listen to me like in college. You listen to the professor, right? Right? 
You want to get smart, you got to know who to listen to. See? You got to figure in your head who I want to hear. Who's got something I want to hear? You know, not some guy, you know he's on TRT. I'm on my 60 year, I'm 60 plus. Fucking bullshit. Hey, you're on TRT and you're shooting yourself. You're banging out. You're not on TRT. Buddy. You're shooting the mount. Fucking gearhead juice. Don't give me no you bullshit. Half these guys. Fucking. I ever go on TRT. I will show you everything I do. Where I pin myself. How much I'm taking. And I'll put these fucking assholes in line. And you guys on it know what happens if I stop going on it. Because my tendons and my ligaments are pretty developed because I've been natural all my life. I'm going to be banging out some weight, making everybody foolish. That's old geezer type. But anyhow, I ain't going to do it. Maybe I will. But if I did do it, that's how I would do it. I would not lie to you. I'd have more views than hey, old geezer shooting. What's he shooting today? I'm shooting uh, 100 cc's, whatever the hell it is. I do it three days a week or once a month. Or maybe I should do small cycles so it's not an up and down spike on my system, you know. Fuck that. And then you gotta go take blood tests because you gotta make sure all everything else is lying. Man, I'll eat pig's feet and have a little ginseng or something. Have some ass, too. That'll get you. Oh, that's the other secret. You want testosterone to go up... Make sure you got a nice, tasty piece of ass three, four times a week. You'll have all the testosterone you need. You know what I'm saying? Yin and yang, fellas. Uh, that was a tidbit. Yeah. Okay, so here comes the uh, dirty 30. Dumbbell dirty 30. Okay, and there you have it, fellas. I talked myself out. My coffee's cold. I gotta play with the boy here. You all right? Hey, still look at him. Hey, nice, huh? Yeah, it's nice. Hey, nice. You're gonna be a warrior, too. I'll teach you punches now, shit. Uh, just like I taught my son. He moved around a lot. You know, you're the new kid in school, they pick on you, and that didn't last too long. He put a whip ass fast. <laughs> <laughs> and he ain't big, but he's tough. You don't fight. You don't All right, so anyway. Yeah, it's one of those days. I feel good. Like I said, nice piece. Oh, yeah, I was ready. I didn't know old guys only get sex once or twice a month. Three times a month. Or none at all. You're doing something wrong. You're eating wrong or some shit's wrong. Either that or I'm, you know, a mutant or something. But, uh... Three times a week, minimum. I'll go crazy. I'll be killing people. I gotta calm my uh, juices down. You know what I'm talking about? I'm, uh, I need to start swinging a battle axe, so... Can we get this shit show started? You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? Gotta clean the house. Anyway. Yeah, that's it. Dirty 30s. I'm done. Hey, I'm here, you know. I'm not looking for all oh, popularity. I'm here. I'm doing what I do. I got a kick with the shorts because I got a, got 300 plus shorts. There's a lot of shorts I can make. Some don't get a lot. Some get none. I know. I got to watch what I say around town, you know. You Googles listen to everybody. Anyhow, just the way it rolls. Just the way it rolls. But I had a good workout last night. I really like stretch. I'm stretching the muscle from a stretch position. 
Maybe that's why guys like doing the dumbbells on the bench. You know, where you stretch back to get that big chest shit. But anyhow, yeah. So lift hard and heavy. Keep working out. Don't give up. Keep pushing. If you're on a reload, you're on a reload. You're on a push, you're on a push. You're on a wave. I did, I actually did a wave with the uh, overhead press. I did one wave, then I popped back, did a few, and then I got up to whoop de doo 145, and did sets of seven. If you're young, I would say do, uh, I don't know, four to five sets at seven reps, you know. But, uh, you know, for three is good. I've learned three is good for me. I also learning that uh, when I go hard, heavy, I mean, when I really, even this might be, but it wasn't, I pushed it. It's certain pushes when the voltage is really draining with the heavy, heavy weight. Uh, even one day in between ain't enough. I need two days. I can work out every day and just kill myself. I got that switch, you know. It's lock and load time, you know. You don't say I need two days off when you gotta, you gotta move because it's overrunning the base. But uh, I'm just saying, uh, I, even though I don't like to, sometimes a two-day rest instead of a one-day rest, two-way, is the best way to go. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, you know, you young whippersnappers, hey, work out, eat. You drink milk, drink a gallon. I mean, eat a dozen eggs a day, you know. Cheapest meat around is eggs. Best meat around is eggs. You don't mean protein. So make sure you do that. Plan you these guys go in. I don't see anyone else with a book but me and my my missus she's got the little little book, you know, uh, like you're writing tickets shit. But anyhow. Yeah, you gotta write down what you do. I can't remember. Maybe it's my you remember all your sets you did for the last since you started working out. You remember everything you did so you can go back and see when did I get the good bump, what I do. When I have that rest I forgot about. What do you remember all that shit? Because I can't. They just go in there and Fought around. Some of them still get strong, but I'm saying they would get a lot strong if they had a battle plan. You know, you can win a lot of battles or just line up and go. But you better pray the guy on the other side ain't planning, you know. We had the better fighters, one-on-one. -on -one. You know, Genghis Khan still whipped their ass many a time. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. It's called strategy. Well, the strategy is the war, and his strategies to... Weightlifting, strength training, barbells, iron work, and there's also the tactics, the the movements themselves. So, study. If you want to get into something, you got to study. You got to search out people. You know, you think Doug Hepburn just dropped in my lap? You know. So anyhow, okay, I gotta go because I'm I'm in my morning coffee. Hey, honey, could you give me a little warm it up? Yeah, okay, thank you. know, I was like at the local diner. You know, they don't do this local shit no more. You know, the local bar where they're just hanging out, you know. You know, with the old guys and the young guys. You know, you know. Ain't no diner where you hang on. Maybe Waffle House. I don't know. But it ain't the same no more. There was one here and he died. Now it's all gone. Every day above ground's a good day. Don't let me depress you. All right, I got my grandson here, I got my dogs, I got, I got a nice woman and she's working out and I can see it working. I know, I can see it working, you know, gets my juices flowing fast. Anyhow, okay, that's about it. Hope you can read between the lines. I'm giving you a lot of information here. Take it or leave it, eh, you know. It ain't a popularity contest to me. This is my video log. And uh, I've been pulling stuff off and putting it to my... There's a place that's basically just a library. And this is my shelf. And eventually I'll tell you guys to go there. Because there's more than just this. And that's where I keep my stuff to the end of the electron uh, flow. When the electron flow goes, all this dissipates. Like tears in the rain, nothing left of it. All of it. All of it. It's all an illusion. So, turn this shit off. I bet you, turn off the electric mains in your house. And live like you live. And just deal with this. Figure out, well, what am I going to do now? You can't even flush the toilet, but once or twice, we'll make sure that goes off too. So, in there, you will learn. You got a rude awakening. All right. Out how it's easy to build. Just put it, don't put it uphill from your house. You know, don't back. Okay, I gotta go. I'll bullshit all day. My brain's. 
Okay, fellas, let's talk heavy. Watch your six. I mean it. And know what to do when it hits the fan. I mean, you know, you know. Okay, next time. Catch you on the flip side. <laughs>